Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, welcome to another review uh, with War Command Vape Reviews with Nate. Uh, so today I'm doing something kind of new. I'll take a vape off here. Um, so yeah, today I'm doing something kind of new. Uh, I'm doing a, a review, or a dual review, uh, but I'm also doing a versus. Um, so today I'm doing the H Cigar uh, DNA 133 watt, DT 133, uh, versus the H Cigar uh, DNA VT 200. Um, so both are equipped with the Evolve DNA 200 chip. Uh, the VT uh, 233, uh, I'm sorry, VT 200, I'm getting confused. Uh, the VT200 uh, is powered by a 3-cell LiPo uh, battery, and the H Cigar VT133 is powered by a 2-cell power pack uh, 18650, so dual 18650. Uh, I have had the H Cigar VT200 uh, for quite a few months now, two or three months. Um, I love this device. This is actually my daily uh, device. Um, so I think it's a really good looking device. Uh, it's all black. It has the um, four stainless steel stripes, uh, which on both sides, uh, which I have heard some people don't like. Um, I actually like it. I think it makes it, you know, look a little different uh, than other mods. It kind of reminds me of like Adidas too. Um, I think it's good uh, uh, labeling. You know, it's a good way to know that that's a a uh, H cigar. So yeah, if you look at the uh, H cigar VT one thirty three, you can see that it also has the stripes. A uh, little different. Uh, of placing where they are on the on the mod, you can see on the right here. Uh, we're on the VT133. Uh, they are more centered down the side of the mod. Another thing I like about the uh, VT133 is that it has the H cigar um, kind of writ written in cursive on one side of the mod, and that's kind of that's engraved in there. Uh, so it's not something that's going to wear off. Um, so I have heard a lot of um, complaints. A lot of people saying that they that they didn't like the uh, um, battery cover with the 133. I'm going to put the stuff aside. Let me just. I'm going to go over the boxes. I'm not going to go up close uh, and personal with the boxes. Uh, really, I will say. Um, so with them, with the actual mods, uh, the only thing that's going to come with it. Uh, you're going to get a super high quality thick USB cord, uh, which is uh, the reason they give you um, one of this caliber uh, is because since both of these devices uh, are sporting the, the evolved DNA uh, chip, uh, you will have to, um, when you get the device, register it with the firmware and upgrade it, go over your battery and all that. There is. Uh, like say for example if you get the uh, VT200 when you get it I think that the battery settings on Evolve's website on the DNA Evolve website are 9.6 hours or something like that uh, you can go ahead and go through the specs of the battery and readjust it with the watt calculator on the DNA um, eScribe page the Evolve page um, and you can change it, upgrade it to like 14.1 or 14.6, I think. So um, I had a buddy of mine got it, and he said, dude, I use it, and it's like, you know, the battery's gone, and a couple hours, what's wrong with it? And I said, oh, you have to go on eScribe and update it. And so once you do that update, it will uh, uh, last uh, twice as long as it would just right out of the box. Uh, and then with the newer one, uh, you will go into it, and it'll give you the option for the batteries and it'll say, you know, two cell or one cell, two cell, three cell. Um, you know, the DNA is definitely three cell. Um, and this, because it's two batteries, it's two cell. Each battery is a cell. Um, so you'll have to change this. I'm getting 14 point, 
six, I think, milliamp hours with the VT200 and 22.1 with the VT, uh, VT133. Uh, so definitely the battery life is a little bit better with the VT133. Uh, I would like to see eScribe, um, you know, something with, with a lot of these regulated box mods nowadays. When you're vaping on them, uh, the batteries will usually, it'll say zero, and you'll throw them on the charger, and there's 30, per, 30 to 40% left on the battery pack. Uh, the reason being is because, you know, for battery safety, these regulated mods know that they need to cut off once you don't have enough power to, uh, to fire uh, the uh, low rating sumo builds that we're vaping on nowadays. Uh, once they realize, once the chip realizes that there's not enough juice left in the batteries, it cuts it off and says, charge your batteries. Uh, so that being said, I, I realize that's for safety. When this says zero, the batteries are actually at about 45%, which I feel like it could go a little bit lower, like down to 30%, uh, and still probably be very safe. Uh, that's just my opinion. Um, I noticed with, uh, like the home record, for example, uh, and that's a different chip completely. That's the FSK chip. Uh, this is the DNA of all DNA chip. But I know with the home record, uh, it cuts off at about uh, 30%, you know, 25 to 35% battery life. Um, and so, yeah, I would like to see eScribe update that software to where the firmware to where you can get just another couple more milliamp hours out of the batteries. I think that would be great. Um, that was my main reason in buying this is because I do prefer the 18650 uh, powered devices. However, um, I really, really like the Evolve DNA chip and the board and just how uh, the mod functions with the chip. Uh, so this right here was an answer uh, to my prayers, I guess you could say. I'll take another beat. It vapes great. Uh, there's no, you know, like any DNA. Uh, it's a super quick hit. You press the button, it fires. Uh, temp control, I'm not big into temp control. It does work uh, perfectly. Uh, another thing you can do with the uh, uh, DNA chip is you can go in and you can set your ramp up time. Uh, and, and with everything I'm saying, that goes for both mods. Because like I said, they're both uh, powered with the... Uh, DNA chip. Uh, so what you can do with one, you can do with the other. It's kind of like the Android of mods, uh, I guess you could say. Uh, they're both, that being said too, they're both very customizable. Uh, you can see the screens. Let me see if this works here. Just, uh, let's see. see if you can read what I have there. Oh, no, it didn't do it. So anyway, uh, when you boot either one of my mods up, uh, the first thing that it says is fuck cigarettes. Uh, this one from a buddy of mine, I'm not sure how he did it. He has a hundred dollar bill that flashes on it when I first power it up uh, And then it says fuck cigarettes um, When I need a new uh, uh, When I need to charge it, it says I'm dead asshole uh, let's See when I need to atomizer it says uh, No addy dumbass uh, So these are very customizable you can go in you can change the different screen settings when I log on to eScribe, when I plug this device in, my VT233, or uh, 200, I keep saying that. When I plug in my 200, it says Nate's DNA 200. And then when I plug in my VT133, it says Nate's DNA 133. Um, so they're super customizable. The screen on both of them, uh, let's see if I can show you guys this. Uh, it's exactly identical um, exactly exactly identical one thing you can do is uh, when you first get the device it's going to show the battery meter it just being one single battery and it'll just slowly deplete uh, it'll be colored in fully white and then it'll just slowly start depleting uh, you can go into the eScribe and change that to where it will uh, uh, it tells you you know it depletes slowly the color of the battery will drain out as, as you use your battery uh, and then it will also tell you your percentage, but you have to set that in the eScribe if you want that. Uh, so one thing I'll say about the packaging, so you're going to get, let me open this up, I'll open this one up, this is the VT200. Uh, each one of them come with a little uh, sleeve around the box, which comes with a picture of your device on it. 
uh, then the box right here. Super nice box. Um, really thick. Uh, it's a really quality box. It's really nice. Uh, just kind of, you know, it's just quality. It's just a really nice box. But it comes with uh, your little paper packet right here, which comes with your guide on how to use it and how to get the eScribe and all that, how to log on, and also your one-year warranty, which uh, about the warranty, that's directly through H Cigar, um, and they only offer the warranty through select vendors, uh, so you definitely, if you're into the warranty or whatever, or if you think you might be sending it in in the next year, hopefully you won't, but if you have the issue, you might want to check with your vendors to see what vendors honor the warranty uh and and uh because h cigar is kind of picky you know if you if you buy it at this certain price you're not going to honor the warranty or whatever so but the boxes are very similar uh they both come with a warranty they both come with the same instruction packet um so put those aside also both mods the 200 and the 133 uh, each one of them comes with a little you know, decorative gift style tote bag, which is kind of cool. Uh, you don't see that with a whole lot of mods. Uh, kind of cool. Uh, and then it has your uh, batch number and all that on the back right there. Uh, the VT200 comes in a beige, which would match that color. I don't have it anymore. Uh, and then the one, the VT133 comes in uh, a black bag. Another thing too, so with the 133, the only color options that they're offering are the silver and black. Uh, I've heard that this aluminum battery cover, the slide-on, slip-on battery cover, uh, the H Cigar will offer replacements. So you can have different colored replacements, which I think would be kind of cool, kind of customizable. Um, I noticed that a few uh, reviewers, Suck My Mod, and a couple other guys out there, don't like the battery cover. It's kind of similar to like the, I think it's the IP, IPv4 or whatever that has a slip-on battery cover. Um, one thing, I don't mind it. I, I love this mod. I love just about everything about it. Uh, I will agree with Suck My Mod's review and I'll say that I think that for the price, they could do a little bit better on the machining. Uh, it is made very well to, uh, it's got a great weight to it. It feels hard. It's all there, nothing rattles. But there's just a couple edges that could have been a little bit smoother, but that's definitely just nitpicking in my opinion. Uh, I do love the mod. So if you're worried about this, um, you know, sliding off or slipping off or whatever, just give it, it is uh, aluminum. Uh, so you can, or it's like a zinc alloy, it's an aluminum zinc alloy or something like that. Very strong. You can just give it a little squeeze and then slide it back on. I tuck my ribbon around the back of it, which makes it a little bit tighter, I think. Uh, and just slide it on. It's very tight. I mean, you can see it's a tight fit right there. It fits really snug. Uh, and just pop it on like that. There, there is a little uh, indentation right here. Little, there's a nipple on the inside of the cover. Little nipple, little nub that slides into a little hole right here, uh, which just kind of helps it a little bit better stay on. Um, so yeah, so the screen on both of them is the same. It goes your your ohm readout, uh, your voltage, your battery percentage, or you could do the amount of puffs you've taken. There's all kinds of different options on eScribe. And then your wattage. Uh, I'm gonna read the specs real quick. One thing about the color of this too, so this is the only one that's available right now is the black and silver. On the box though, they give you a picture that's on the back of the box that's uh, flipped around so it has the kind of like a black or charcoal gray border in place of the silver right there and then a silver battery cover and that's that's a great look too I think um, I like this one that I have but I like that one too I like black and gray a lot as you can see right here um, so yeah so I'm sure that one is right around uh, the corner once they get rid of this first batch they had they were just released uh, just a few several weeks ago uh, so anyway let me go over the specs and uh, these specs are let me take a leap. all right
right, so uh, let's go over the uh, specs, and uh, these specs are going to be for both devices. Uh, I'm going to run through these kind of quickly. Um, so uh, they both uh, both devices come with the Evolve DNA 200 chipset. Uh, the actual H Cigar VT 200 does reach a uh, a, a fully accurate 200 degrees. Uh, the VT133 uh, does not because it's a two cell battery and it has a 133 watt range. Uh, so the VT200 goes from 1 watt to 200 watts. The VT133 from 1 to 1 watt to 133 watts. Both devices uh, in temp control are 200 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 600. Uh, both register resistance at 0 0.1 ohms all the way up to 2 ohms in temp control. Um, the voltage for the VT200 is 9 all the way up to 12.6 volts. Uh, input output is 1 volt to 9 volts. And the 133 is uh, input voltage is 6 volts to 8.2 volts. Output voltage is 0 0.5 volts to 6 volts. Um, the VT133 has the uh, internal battery with 1300 ma. Uh, however, this is a 3 cell battery. Um, so I've heard a lot of reviewers say that the, uh, that the, the 1300 ma isn't exactly accurate because it is a 3 cell battery. So it is going to be more like around 4000 ish ma. Uh, the VT133 is a dual 18650 device uh, so this is whatever ma batteries you're using uh, I happen to have uh, uh, two three thousand ma batteries so six thousand ma versus about you know around four thousand ma so you do get a little bit better battery life out of this uh, I would uh, I would say that I uh, think that eScribe could do a better job at maybe getting a little bit more battery life out of these two 18650s with the chipset and I, I'm sure that's probably in their future with the firmware updates. Um, the uh, one main difference uh, is obviously the batteries uh, and obviously the 133 versus 200 but also weight. Um, this the VT200 is super light this is actually my everyday device I take this to work with me um, it's very light I've got a rubber case on it which makes it a little bit more durable. Um, I said at the beginning that these are two of my favorite mods. These are my two favorite mods. If I'm not using this one, um, I'm using this one. And while this one's charging, I'm using this one. And then if for some reason they're both dead, then I use another mod that I have. But these are my both of my favorites. I've had several mods. I'm kind of new into vaping, but uh, I always hear a lot of reviewers say, if aliens were to come down and take all your vape gear, would you buy that again? The answer is yes and yes. I would buy both these 100%. Uh, I would buy both tomorrow if something happened to either one of these or both of them. Um, so one main difference is going to be uh, weight. Uh, the Dual 1860 device is much heavier than the LiPo um, for obvious reasons. Um, so you know this review is very uh, personally subjective. Um, can I say which one I like better? Uh, I, I really like both of them a lot, so I can't really say I like this one better. If I had to go with one right now, if they're like, take one, you can't have the other one, I would probably say the 133 just because of the dual 18650 batteries. Uh, take a wait. But um, I have become very accustomed to the VT200. I've had this longer. Um, so if it was, you know, an issue about, you know, weight or whatever, I would go with this one. So it basically just comes down to what you prefer and what you like. Uh, if you like the Dual 18650, I would say go with this one. Uh, if you like a lighter, uh, um, you know, easier to, to carry and move around with device, I would say probably this one. Uh, but this one, you know, that being said, this the, the, the 133 is not super heavy. I've had a lot heavier mods. Um, it's just heavier than this. Uh, so anyway, uh, let me go over where you can get both these and I'm going to just wrap this up. Um, so for the VT200, uh, you can get this on eSig.com for $119.70 if you use the code VAPINGCHEAP. Uh, and that's a fucking steal. I mean, that is a really, really good, good price. Uh, 
like I said, I would definitely recommend it. Um, or you can, I'm sure you can also find them on eBay, uh, which is where I happen to get mine. Um, but $119.70 shipped, that's free shipping, is, is a steal. Uh, this one, uh, a little heavier, you can get this at Aspen Valley Vapes um, for $149.99. Uh, however, they do have some type of membership program. It's called the Peak Membership. It costs five uh, five dollars for an annual membership to be one of their peak customers. It's four ninety nine, and with that Peak membership, you get super uh, discounts. You know, forty percent off, fifty, sixty percent off mods, juices, and the uh, Peak membership price for the VH Cigar VT one thirty three is $119. Um, so if you look at the, uh, the the difference, $119 plus the $499 to become the peak member and get that membership, it's $124, uh, which is still $26 cheaper than their manufacturer, uh, manufacturer suggested retail price, which is $149.99. And you get that membership for a year, so you get all their other discounts. Um, so that's it. Um, I got mine directly from China, from e uh, I think it was, and it's like now it's 160 on their site. I got it the first week that it came out for 119 It took forever to get it. I would not recommend e again. That's just in my personal uh, opinion. I would rather pay a little bit more and get it from somewhere else, uh, just because it was super slow and uh, hard to deal with them and stuff like that. So, But that's the price you pay for getting something directly from China, I think. So anyway, uh, that's it. That's my review of the H Cigar uh, VT200. Oops, VT200 and the VT133. I know this is kind of quick. Um, I would recommend both of them. I think they're great devices. Um, I didn't go up close and personal with them. I know um, there's really not much to show with the VT200 because there's no everything's all packed in it. Um, this is just mainly what I think if you're kind of familiar with the products, but. Uh, Hope you liked the video and uh, please subscribe and uh, like this video if you liked it. Uh, that's it. Peace. Vote for Bernie.